to make your production sound dark. I'm going to show you three different ways in this video. Um, it's not an exhaustive list or anything, but three ways that I'm thinking of uh, if I want to make a song sound dark. The first and by far the biggest thing, you have to have the right key. And it's only, there's only two, there's major keys and minor keys. Your song should be in the minor key if you want to make it sound dark. You can have dark major keys major key songs it's much harder because minor key is already much more um, somber sad darker major is much more happy lighter and summery as a perfect example b flat minor b flat major so the biggest thing is the key of your song second thing you can do to using distortion growly type instruments instruments that sound dark and mean so what I mean by that and what we're going to focus on here is this bass sound. It's now this is a real bass sound, so it has that picking, but I've uh, really pushed the gain. So it has a bit of a crunch on the edge of it, on the edge of it, sorry. And it has that kind of Billie Eilish darkness feel to it, right? Because of the rhythm on it and this, the subbiness on it. So push the gain, push the distortion on some of your instruments to give it a bit of a crunch. Um, another example here would be this guitar that's following this, uh, the same rhythm. I've actually gone and put a bass amp on this electric guitar. So I just wanted it to be much more punchy on the low end. And then I added more distortion as well, just logic distortion. So with both of them together, it's gonna sound really crunchy and dark. If you're new here and you are a producer, singer, songwriter as well, feel free to subscribe to this channel because that's what this channel is all about. On this note, let's also take a look at the verse bass we have here that has a different feel. It's not a, a picky bass, but it's more also more of a growly bass here. Just focus on the bass for a second. This is a mini Moog bass and I've really bumped up the gain as well. So it just has a bit more of a growl and crunch to it. Third thing you can do to make your song sound more dark, actually use octaves differently. Not octaves, sorry, use chord shapes differently and using octaves on chord shapes to make it sound more cinematic. So don't use your typical chord shapes that you might in a regular pop song, maybe a happier song or just any other song, change up the shapes of your chords and you're gonna get a more cinematic vibe to it. An example would be this piano part here with the keys. These are inverted chords. So typically like this note here would be up here. So I'm just, I'm just shaping inversion. So um, a trick you can do is just play it normally or get the the chord shapes off the internet and draw them in. And then you can take any note and drop it up or down 12 semitones to find different um, vibes, really. So this one note, like if you have, uh, for example, you can take this note, drop it down like we did. You can take this note, drop it down 12 notes. I'm just doing shift option up arrow and that's gonna bring it down a full octave. Adding those um, non pentatonic notes will make it sound unresolved or added tension in a way. And that's what you want in darkness songs. You don't want it, things to resolve so much. You want to add that tension. And one thing you can do is find the, the key of your song. Uh, is, so we're in B flat minor. So go over here, do natural minor, B flat. And then uh, it's important to switch your tool to the paintbrush tool. And now Logic will only let you paint in notes that are in the key of B flat. For example, let me just zoom in here to show you. I painted a note there. But if I try to paint a note right below that, it's not gonna let me because that note there is not in B flat. So what you can do and when you have your chord shapes are try painting some notes in here or there and um, wherever you paint them, they're gonna be in the key but sometimes they might just sound 
like unresolved and added tension, but that's what you want in dark songs because you don't want things to be so resolved. So it sounds super dark already, right? We have cinematic strings coming in here, which is another thing you can do with similar MIDI data that you take from the keys. some things I keep in mind when I'm trying to make my production sound more dark. We do live sessions uh, every Monday and Friday Q&As. We just talk about logic, music production, songwriting. So bring your questions. It's all free and we just have a good time. So hope to see you in the next one.